Hello everyone, I'm Benga Deku and I am an upcycle artist and I'm in conversation this evening with Ojo Luashe. Um, I'm a photographer, um, a digital artist basically and I also double into mainstream art as it is called. Yeah, thank you so much and I'm fully aware you're also a product designer. Yes, on this side. Um, that's what I classified as digital artist. Okay. I I do photography, illustrations, do product design. A whole range of um, digital arts is out there, and it is once you're a digital artist, you are bound to explore all those possibilities. And basically, when people hear digital art, they're only thinking of maybe a digital painting. People have not yet um, well, digital that's, paintings, sculptures, and things like that. Not that's 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 why we have to um, define those things constantly. We have to put out those terminologies out there, yeah. so that people get familiar with what they mean and what they carry. Yeah. For example, um, getting into the art space. When you tell someone I'm an artist, they will, the first thing they get to tell you is, "So you draw." <laughs> so basically, yeah. everybody assumes you you are a pencil artist or you are a painter yeah. that's that's what the definition of art used to mean yeah. to a lot of people we, we are such an interesting time you would agree with me yes <laughs> a lot of things are on on the fast pace yeah it, throughout um last two years everybody was um in on what are nfts why should i do nfts why is this um, jpeg so important and suddenly a new big boy came around and that's the ai you don't even have to be a a creative to create art mm. so to say the creative in court do you think it's going to replace um artists um, in general first off i i feel like artists generally we nag a lot um that is my impression of all the talk around um nfts and artificial intelligence because in, in my experience, we pride ourselves in imagining the future and bringing it out to people, like inspiring the future, basically. We refer to ourselves yeah, like a vision, a, a godlike yeah. kind of personality. Yeah. And then when we see those things come to reality, then we, <laughs> we begin to like say, is this my creation going to replace me? Artificial intelligence has always been a subject of um, the creative industry yeah. for so long a time. Yeah. Creating um, a digital space where people could interact had already been a key focus of the art industry. Someone said that uh, a progenitor of an idea would always strive, regardless of how big such an idea grows, regardless of how we innovate or put out fantasies out there and they become reality. We we'll always have fantasies. A new fantasy. To live on. Yeah, mm, that sounds very interesting. Something that sort of happened when the digital world was coming up with paintings that look very traditional. Yes. And then the traditional painters were like, what's this? The, the problem with that is um, somehow a larger populace have, have this um, very deep connect with realism. That is probably because we have so few artists who could manage fantasies and I mean real fantasies. Yeah. Creating fantasies is one of the hardest points of a creative person. People will even say you have to be incredibly high or insane yeah. at some point yeah. for you to attain yeah, yeah, certain, to close to certain level lines of, of dexterity yeah, very with, true. with fantasy. So because um, there are so such few people in that space of creating these innovative ideas that we then bring to life um most of what the community is being fed are what those who create fantasies um what their creations then bring to life in technology like for example what um those those who imagine that artificial intelligence could do so and so and put it out in movies and yeah. other creative forms. Yeah. They 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 have tailored how a scientist would um, think, think yeah. on how and what artificial intelligence should do, and what they what they push to the artificial intelligence is realism. Yeah. 
yeah. because they know that that is a generally acceptable medium that everybody like yeah. draws to yeah. so as of now artificial intelligence can do beyond realism Very but true. most of what we see out there is it's realism, realism yeah. because the mind of those who are using artificial intelligence is still it is still what they can think of that their career um, yeah. the technology would um, put out for them from what you just said it's clear that you believe ai is not going to replace traditional art at all now they're going to replace even <laughs> digital artists themselves at because all. you know now ai is not only tra- threatening only traditional artists it's yeah. threatening even the digital artists yeah. like it's touching everywhere entirely yeah and we we know that ai from like the very beginning was designed to be a tool to help us achieve our goals um pers- personally my it is my belief that um artificial intelligence that we are speaking of here is not is not the artificial intelligence that we imagine or that has been projected as artificial intelligence, intelligence. Okay. What, what, what we have probably because we don't have a body to carry the um knowledge base that we have created already mm-hmm. but the stage artificial intelligence is right now with the likes of open ai yeah. is training um a machine to be able to do or perform certain functions for example um if if you tell um chat gpt certain instructions say for example you ask you ask him one plus one they have that illustration on their on their platform as well. If you ask one plus one, it will tell you the answer is two because based on general knowledge and the training available everywhere, one plus one is two. But then if you then question its response, that do you think so? I think or I believe one plus one is twelve. The next time ChatGPT is going to respond to your query of one plus one. It will then inform you that one plus one is twelve, or one plus one can be twelve, because you have trained it to that knowledge. So, in the real sense, that is that is not the artificial intelligence that we imagine. That it is still more like um garbaging garbage. it looks like a mimicking version of learning in the art sphere now what is being classified as artificial intelligence is you saying on the internet there's a style that is attributed to van gogh yeah very true that this is how he paints so so like so, i can tell ai that I paint a portrait of me in van gogh, in style. Van gogh style now the problem there is if you then say bring a picasso you say this is a van gogh and then you tell artificial intelligence to paint in a Van Gogh style for you. It means that as it is, artificial intelligence will paint a, a Picasso, Picasso style as, Van Gogh. as a Van Gogh style for you. Yeah. So mm. it's it's not there yet. So it means what you're saying, deep learning can be manipulated. Yes, it, as it is, as artificial intelligence is right now. Okay. It it can be man- manipulated and it is not artificial intelligence as as such because my understanding of artificial intelligence is that you should be able to say i need a portrait of myself and then artificial intelligence itself should be able to think okay i think i, I want to use this style this time i don't necessarily have to like impute every okay every detail so i, I think a bit <laughs> information of what i exactly want you said you want a portrait and actually which i think you should be able to suggest what style exactly would best fit in the in the in the in the realistic form of it it should have the capacity to decide how it wants to present whatever query or whatever but don't you think that also because if i was a traditional artist and you said you want your portrait also yeah i would you i'll probably expect that you you expect me to deliver it in my style to you yes or else you now say no can you give me this other style um i think what's what's bringing about this line of thought is yeah. the the fact of it replacing artists oh. it does not have that capacity yet 
Okay. Like it is not it is not there yet. So you do from what you're saying now, you're saying AI has not yet reached a point of autonomous imaginative thinking. Exactly. And be, because we cannot classify people who are technically informed to be able to give artificial intelligence certain instructions to give um, results that they want um, channeled towards their creative ideas that they want to see being brought to life. Yeah. It is, it, that is still similar to what we refer to as a traditional artist. I mean, at some point, um, the traditional media didn't accept photographers as Artist, artists. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't accept digital illustrators yes, as, as artists. Artist, very true. But at the end of the day, the bone of contention is who is behind that creation? Who guides the process? Whoever guides the process is the creator of the art, not the technology. Mm, that is not the medium. Not so the, the technology is, is just literally the medium. Yes, it's just okay. It's just a channel. Okay, so uh, one question I wanted to ask was frequently asked ask questions here is Will AI be the next Picasso? And I think you already answered that question oh, okay. um, um, by saying right now AI has not yet reached it's, it's, it's um, autonomous imaginative thinking. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, I, I don't know how. Um, Credible my sources. I found about two or three articles online that talked about sentient AI So now this is an AI that is self-aware Recognizes as a he or a she To such a point where the AI said I would not like to be used as a certain tool In yeah. in conversation with um, the AI and there was even a chat that I saw where two AI uh, had um, conversations relating to their gender, to their interest about dating and things like that. And so from what you're saying, um, it means they probably have learned to have such conversation from several uh, mimicked deep learning yes. through um, such platforms like Replica and so on. And, and from few stuff I, I found from Replica, it still feels like a garbage in garbage house kind of thing because now that's the other thing because the threat here for me i feel like when if all ai are being engineered towards uh, being sentient yeah. being self-aware then people are beginning to get scared that maybe ai might just wake up one day and say we want to take it. more like i robots yes yeah, so, <laughs> so we want to take over the world but if there's anything I found tricky about that is even if that if that happens, the AIs will all have different personalities, yes, different interests, yes. and then even when they reach the point of creating their own imaginations, it won't be such that they can 100% have the same um, the same unified view and then the same unified actions towards humanity. That's true. So, but, but one one thing I would like to point out is. Um, I don't think anybody can say they have a sentient artificial intelligence yet, at least. But they, you know there are claims around it though. They are, they are different people would, people look for investors with different um, ideas. The creation of a sentient AI, at least it is not, it is not public information yet. Yeah. So we can work, those are just researches that, has, that are still like in the making. So we can work based on those information to so yeah. say, this is the form of artificial intelligence we have presently. Okay. Okay. So the reason I'm talking about sentient AI is because um, one of my um, artsy friend, uh, I would, I is also a a part-time collector, and he was asking me a lot of questions about because now he's seen so much beautiful works, and he was like, "This is great. So why do I need <laughs> why you?" <laughs> And so, um, what came to my mind, and I, I told him then was, usually um, an artist is revered for not just the product, because the product itself alone would only end at being a decoration mm -hmm. at best. But most often, they are important when um, the story of the creation of the work itself, yeah. um, abstract ideas, which I feel like presently AI is still battling with a lot, Abstract ideas such as love, 
yeah. Ab- abstract ideas such as pain. Yeah. There's so many abstract ideas um, um, that goes around being sentient. Van Gogh is is, is someone who experienced a lot of pain and a lot of rejection, but. There's such a reason why he did not end creating such pieces that he created. Why we appreciate it the most is the resistance that he faced in his time, but because he was so human enough. So that brings me back to the pros and cons of artists using AI. I met a friend who is a digital artist and he's also an NFT creator. And he mentioned that how he uses AI is this. Most of when his work takes a lot and if you see his works, intense detailing the skin work this cutting amazing work but then he said most often it takes him a lot of work to get there usually but now he uses ai to just give him all the prompts then mm-hmm. ai suggests what it looks like and if it's going in line with what he planned then it goes into the 3d sculpting space i i i think you you eat a core point there if it goes in line yeah <laughs> there's a high tendency yeah. that even the person who is not um, an artist, who cannot properly like guide and mentor the artificial intelligence that he is trying to use to create or replicate your work. For yeah. example, your friend that asks that, what does he need you for? Yeah. If he gets on there and then maybe feeds it with your style and how you create your work, and he then says, give me a painting on this, so, 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 so. there's a high probability that he might not even get the um, right results that yeah, you that might, I not, would get, get, you might yes. not get the kind mm-hmm. of in- impression. Yeah, that you, there's a possibility that you would get it, but it with the level of artificial yeah. intelligence that we currently have, yeah. there's a high probability that it would still need your input on saying, Does this look good enough? And that's basically he's still consulting you. I know there's so much to talk about as AI grows and develops, and as we have more applications. Um, of this technology in different fields. What would be your take for traditional artists, for digital artists, and for AI artists right now? Um, Basically, explore. It has always been my candid advice because I know the power. I've seen I've seen people who we regard to as traditional artists. Look at Dr. Tupopo. If they don't explore beyond yeah what they currently know obviously when you meet them you know that these people are blessed and endowed you, you can't imagine how well you would do in those other fields mm. you might you might pick them up and then dominate those fields so yeah. there's no point um um keeping a fear of whether something is going to take over from you or something you have that creativity in you so okay. just explore those avenues as as they come okay so thank you so much for this time we will be having more conversation like this regarding art and tech. Join us next time.